what's up guys welcome back to another video if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel so what you're looking at here is a heater return coolant pipe so right here was leaking so i decided to go to the dealer and purchase this pipe but then i decided not to use the pipe yeah i know i went to the dealer got the pipe and i didn't use the pipe but the reason why i didn't use the pipe is is because it was so difficult trying to pull this nut just to get the pipe out just to get a tool in that area was so difficult so i decided to go with a silicone coolant hose and use some clamps at least i know in the future when i want to get the the uh, hose out i could just easily unscrew the clamps and get it out and change it if needed anyway so before you take off this pipe you want to drain your coolant but the trick i use i open this nut right here and when it starts to leak i start to drain my coolant out and when this pipe when this area i loosen stop leaking that mean i reach the sweet spot then i stop draining the coolant so this is the old pipe and right here we have this circle this is where the leak was coming from so this is the old pipe this is the end that i took off the top hose right here so the final step to get this pipe out is to unscrew this nut and take the pipe out but in the process of taking off this nut i snapped the whole thing off so this is the pipe here and this is the nut that snapped off while I was taking it off. All right guys, so I'm back from the parts store. Just wanna show you my parts that I got. Um, all right, so this is my burr fitting. Uh, I got burr on both sides. I already pushed this one in already, so I can't show you, but right here is just like over this side. So this and this over here is exactly the same. Um, so this is another bar fitting. So this one right here is going to replace this one. This is the piece that broke off of here. So this broke off of here. So I'm going to use this one to replace this nut right here. And this end is going to go on this end. All right. Um, and I got my clamps right here. So this end right here is going to go. Let me show you where that's going to go. It's going to go right up here. All right. And this fitting, this one is going to go on this piece right here. And then this is going to go, go down there on that nipple down there. Let me get my light and show you guys. So that's the nipple right there. All right. So. Now let me show you how much I pay for these. So this price right here is for the the heater heater hose. This is for the coolant line. Um, pay twenty seven and seventy six cent. Right. And of course, this is for the the hose clamp. Three hose clamps and you got this the one at the bottom is for the swivel so uh it's for this one right here that's for the swivel which is 8.95 and this piece right here that's uh eleven dollars and sixteen cents all right so yeah and that was my total there all right so Let's get these installed and pour some coolant and we'll be ready to head back the road. So by the way, this is a, um, a three quarter inch hose and you're going to need the same fittings for the hose, three quarter inch. All right, so let me go ahead and tighten this down. Let me show you where this is going. So this is going down there. See that? The nipple down there. This one is going down there, like so. Can't really see it, my hand is in the way. 
and down there is dark no lighting but you guys know what I'm doing see that's how it looks all right of course it's not tightened yet I'm gonna tighten it down but it's snug I'm about to get my my tool and tighten it down but the other hand on the hose is going on that side I'm gonna put a clamp on that side then I run my hose up to this one all right all right so I got done putting on this hose as you can see everything is all tightened down there and this other end is all tight and I put coolant in the system everything is filled up with coolant uh, personally I think using these clamps down there is much easier to take off than the than the nut that's on the original pipe if I need to change this in the future I could get it off with ease anyway guys if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one thank you for watching bye bye